I really wanted to have two doors. Okay. Ha. How do I knock down a door? Huh? <laughs> this is funny. Welcome back, Travelers and Slider Havoc here, and we are back, and today we are playing Eco. I believe it's like Global Survival or something like that. Eco something or other. Yeah, it's Eco. It'll be down in the description. So anyways, we are starting off a new series, and I hope this is going to be a really fun and exciting one. I'm really excited about this game because I love the concepts behind it, and I'm hoping it really pans out. It is an early alpha game. It's like um, 0.5.4 right now. Uh, it's been around for, I don't know, a year or two now. They just started a Kickstarter program a while back, but enough about the game. I'm not trying to promote it. But if this is something that you enjoy while you're watching today and you want to play it for yourself, I will put a link down in the description to the website where you can actually purchase the key for the game and play along with me. As well, down in the description, I'll have my seed information uh, in case you want to kind of play around on the same map. You know, some people like doing that. And so I will provide you with that information. But we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the game because as you can see, I've already been playing. The reason I have been playing is because the very beginning of the game is a pretty slow grind of chopping a lot of trees and moving wood around and building and whatnot. But the concept of the game is not just survival of yourself, but also survival of the ecosystem. As you can see, this ecosystem is freaking gorgeous. Look at, there's a beautiful elk just over there snacking in the morning, having a little I don't know, late breakfast, early lunch over there. And there are animals all over the place. I think there's a rabbit hopping over there. I don't know if you guys could see that. But there are lots and lots of really, really fun stuff to kind of check out. And it's just, it's a gorgeous game. And I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it. Now this game in particular is definitely a multiplayer game. And this will be a multiplayer server with other people coming on the server. But because of issues that I've had in the past and you guys have seen in some of my other multiplayer servers, I tend to lose people because I really get into a game and I'll stick it out for a long time and have a lot of fun with it. And some other people enjoy playing more co-op than by themselves at times, and I tend to lose people. So I'm going to be playing it as though it's a solo player, but I will also be playing it as a, a multiplayer server because I want to help out and add to the community as much as possible. But at the same time, I don't want to be dependent on the community because I really see some awesome, awesome, awesomeness in the future of this game. So without further ado, I'm going to kind of give you a little quick breakdown of some of the stuff. And then we're going to get going on what my next objective for the day was. But uh, for to start, go ahead and do this real quick. Over here, you've got the map. It's the entire world as a globe. It's pretty freaking sweet. And you can see as I kind of show you stuff right here, like this is my house right here. This is where I'm currently standing. And then over here is one of my other buildings, I believe. And over here, I don't know. I don't know what's what exactly where I'm standing right now. Um, this actually very likely could be both. Okay, so this is my building that I'm looking at right there. And I have a campfire over there. And then in here, I've got a campfire and a couple tables. So the, the map is actually pretty cool. Like it shows you where stuff is if you need to find it. And then I think that's me standing right there. And so if there's specific things you need, you can kind of zoom in on the map and see where they are. Because these, inevitably all the concepts are all the different like tables and crafting areas and stuff like that. It's supposed to be a universal environment where everybody can kind of get involved. Now, down here in the bottom left hand corner, this is kind of like your personal information. You have to keep up your calories, so you have to eat. And as you can see right now, my calories, I've got 17 carbs, 18 protein, 11 fat, and 16 vitamins. I'm not quite, 100% balance, but I'm a pretty decent balance and I get a balance multiplier of 1.7 So take all those numbers times 1.7 and that gives me my daily skill points So right now I'm earning 108.8 .8 skill points per day Now that day is an actual in real life day So from 8 o'clock in the morning today till 8 o'clock in the morning till tomorrow That is a full day. It's not an in-game day because and I, I clarify because over here You have in-game days and you can see I'm already on day 38 um, I think one day is 24 minutes, I believe. I believe it's a second a minute, so a minute an hour, so yeah, 24 hours. So 24 minutes is a full day. So I've been playing for a little while. Um, you can see what two, well the server's been up, I should say, for 15, 19 hours. Okay, so we, we just got started. And I've already started a little town hall here, and I'll kind of show you around here before we really get into the skills and stuff like that. 
these are basically your starting items you're going to want to definitely get right off the bat. You got your work table over here, you've got a research table over here, and then personally I thought carpentry table would be the best way to go because it allows you to build other stuff. And so I've got the carpentry set up over there. And that is basically our little town hall. I got a campfire over here if you need to cook up any food. Campfire's chilling right over here. Currently there is nothing in it and yeah, there's nothing because I've kind of been working over there. And the reason I've been working over there, which we'll get to in a minute, is because I am concentrating on food to begin with. Because getting your balanced nutrition and getting as many skill points per day is like very, very important, at least to me it is. And so for that reason, I wanna concentrate on food right off the bat. But this is eventually gonna be one really big town. Like we're gonna have a full on city going on here. And so Town Hall will eventually evolve and it'll become bigger and better and prettier looking as well as like my little log cabin restaurant over there, which will be bigger and better and prettier over time. But I do want to show you some of the things that I think is really cool about this game. Unlike a lot of games where you harvest the area, like let me go ahead and pull out my scythe here. And I give a little swipey swipe to the grass. Like you'll see, I picked up, what did I pick up? Plant fibers. And, oh, there they go, number seven, plant fibers. And you can see now the grass is cut down, but it will grow back. So I can keep cutting down all this grass to get plant fibers and plant root and stuff like that. And these are all, you know, materials for cooking and all the goodness. And basically it will all grow back. You know, as you can see, I'm not trimming it totally down. But what's really cool is like this area, I have to admit, used to be completely populated with trees. Um, as you can see, that forest is pretty dense and it was up here too, but I chopped it down to start my two cabins. And I just saw it a second ago, where do you go? And trees will automatically just grow on their own. This little guy right here is a tree stump. And you can kind of see, I don't know if you can really see that. I'll zoom in when I edit this. The little green circle around that ed branch, it's because that's a branch of a tree. It's a little baby tree. And it'll grow up to become big and strong and stuff like that. And then also around here, there was a lot of corn, but I you know, cut it all down. And so as you can see, I've got little baby corn stalks growing. And they're doing their thing and eventually they'll become corn and I'll have corn. It's cool. It's really, really cool. So that's enough of breaking down the game. There's other stuff I can kind of show you real quick, I guess. Uh, you can turn on and off your chat log down here. Your backpack, you can show it or hide it down here. You can see your avatar. And if you want to change anything about him, you just go to edit. And for some reason, I cannot keep my hair color the way I want it. I don't know why, it just keeps turning back to green. But there we go. So there's my little dude right there and I can hide him. Um, there are graphs that can show you like the populations of the world, but I'm not going to do that because my IP is there. And what else do we got? Oh, yes. And then laws. This is another one that will take you to, you can propose a new law and this will take you to a web page to propose laws. You can law name it and you can, you know, uh, each player may or may not. Well, this is a may not. You may not kill. And then you can say one and we'll choose one wolf you may not kill more than one wolf a day and you submit it and then everybody votes on it and if everybody likes it then it will pass so i think it's really cool because if you notice a decline like you're checking out the map and stuff like that or checking out the the graphs and you notice something you can propose that and then people can go check it out so and that's all part of keeping the environment and the ecosystem you know in balance and stuff so anyways that's that and then yeah the only other one is you can turn on and off your map and I like to leave it on because I like to roam around and I like to remember how to get back. So, so anyways, today what I'm trying to do is I am really, really tired of like playing jumping games with all this dirt. So I want to start to do some dirt roads and um, that is in here. And I'm going to kind of show you some of the skill development. Oh, I haven't shown the skills yet anyways. <clears throat> so if you click on your skill number, it'll bring up your skill chart. All right, as you can see, I've got a couple points in research. Um, and I'm actually about to do this one right now, so we'll do that together. But I've got survival, which is where you're going to start. And this is basic crafting, basic campfire cooking, uh, gathering, which is where you get your scythe. Um, the basic crafting is where you get your work table. Um, hunting gives you your bow. Labor gives you your shovel. Logging gives you your axe. And mining gives you your pickaxe. And as you can see, I've done all these, but they're all just at level one. Oh, I guess these are at level two because I had to get other stuff. And... Uh, I've also opened up cooking because that's what I'm going to be concentrating on. So you can see I've already spent some points here and I'm going to be continuously leveling that up uh, right now. But what I want to do is I want to get 
uh, dirt ramps and dirt roads. I want to start connecting them so I don't have to do all the jumping around and I have a straight path from one place to the other. And what I'm going to need for that is dirt. And four dirt will give me a dirt ramp. I don't know how many. Um, just one. Ooh. So that could get kind of expensive. And then uh, dirt roads is just one dirt per road. I'm thinking the ramps might be pretty big. Like they might slope up pretty good. I don't know. We'll see. But as you see, I mean to show you that, you need uh, civil engineering. And the way to get civil engineering is a skill path. And that's why I had brought up this right here because I need to go to research and I need to start my engineering. Now that I've started my engineering, I can actually go and get civil engineering, which I believe is in Yon. And where is the book that I need? Engineering skill book. Okay, so this is what I'm getting right now. And I'll explain this as I go, but I'm gonna break away just for a second because I gotta go collect 20 wood and 10 stone. And I'm gonna do that. Actually, I'm gonna collect like the first ones with you so you can kind of, can kind of see that aspect. Um, I'm trying to see if I have any in storage here. I don't. Okay. So we're gonna go collect some wood and some stone. Hey, open the door, there we go. Woo. All right, so I've got a little patch of stone over here that you can see I've actually been working on. And this is not like other games where you can have huge, huge stacks of stuff. Basically what you have to do is bust out your pickaxe and give it a little tappy tap and that makes it like a, a softer gravel. And then you take your shovel and you scoop it up and it's one at a time. So like I said before, it's very grindy, it's very slow, but man, I am so addicted to this game. And so I ain't hating on it whatsoever. Yes, it's slow, but it's all worth it in the long run. So I'm gonna go ahead and collect all of the, uh, the rock I need to make that book and, or the research book or whatever, as well as all the wood. And once I'm done with that, we will be back and we will get that book and we will get going on the road. So we will be right back. And through the magic of editing, we are back and we have everything we needed. Yay. Now, I actually can't lie. I already had some stone on one of the other tables and I remembered I had it stored there. So I just went and got the wood. Didn't take too long. But as you can see, I have the engineering skill book. I'm going to order one. It's going to take 15 minutes. So I click order and it actually is 15 real life minutes and then it'll be done. So what we're going to do in the meantime is go ahead and I actually need some dirt. And I'm thinking what I may do is uh, collect up some dirt from over here that I didn't want by my house. And there's an interesting technique I've kind of learned, which I will share with you. And I don't know if this is an exploit. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Or if maybe it was supposed to be like this and some of the other aspects don't work. I don't know. But long story short, when you scoop up dirt, as you can see, I only get one scoop of dirt. I can't scoop up any more dirt, right? Just the one. I don't know if you can hear me clicking, but I can't get any more dirt. But the funny thing is, and I always do that. If I come over to say like this chest, oh, and you right click, it'll just dump it in the chest for you. You don't have to open the chest to put stuff in. So what I'm gonna do real quick is I am going to throw 10 dirt into this chest. And I found this out. And so transporting dirt is actually not that bad or, or stone or whatever, as long as you have a chest close by or some kind of storage unit. Every table that you make has a little bit of storage as well as the chests themselves. So pretty much any one that you grab will uh, will work. And I'll also show you this, if you have a shovel in your hand and you left click and there's dirt in there, it'll just take it out. So right click to put it in, left click to take it out. You don't even have to open the, the GUI interface um, or the GUI or interface, whichever term you want to use for that. So I'm going to collect up a whole bunch of dirt here because we are going to want a lot of dirt to create a path from the town hall to here. So I'm going to spend the next couple minutes, well, 15, as that uh, that good old fashioned uh, research book is being made. And I'm going to just shovel some dirt and we will be back once that 15 minutes has passed. All right, guys, so we are back and I realized I kind of left off at a point where I was talking about, you know, some cheaty or exploit or whatever, and I realized I never explained it, but I will show that in just a second. But right now I am going ahead and start up another work table, another workbench here. It only takes a minute. That's not going to be too bad because I'm going to want to move a workbench up to my store up there so I don't have to keep running down here. And I'm going to grab my brand new skill book for engineering and put that up here 
And as you can see, I've made a couple skill books. I have a carpentry skill book, a cooking skill book, now the engineering, and the butcher. And so what I do is right click here and it gives me a little scroll. I right click on that and now I have engineering. And it gives you property claim flags. Every time you do something new, you get property claim flags, which can let you expand your reach. But right now I haven't planted any because, well, I've got no one to claim from, so. Okay, so we are gonna, well, let's wait for this table that we can get going. Uh, I'm gonna check out the skill chart real quick because now that we have engineering, the reason I wanted engineering is because I want civil engineering, which is somewhere around here. Industry, electronics, computer service, civil engineering, there we go. Now I have the ability to make dirt roads and dirt paths, which is what we're gonna be doing with that dirt that I was scooping up over there, obviously. So that kind of just made sense. All right, so I'm gonna grab my new workbench here. And actually, I'm gonna swap it out for some of the seeds here. And let me dump off some of these in this chest. Uh, corn is maxed, oh, but that one's not maxed, okay. And seeds, maybe these seeds? I don't know, what, what are we doing here? Corn seeds, wheat seeds, corn seeds. There we go. And do I have any of these in here? Nope. And no tallow in this one. Okay. <coughs> All right. So now, ah, I always want to press E to open and close this door and it's just right click. Okay. So what we're wanting to do is do a path from here to there. And this is going to take a little while, but I wanted to get the uh, footprint down now. And then what I'll probably do is break away and that'll probably end up this episode is doing it. You see, I've already started digging the dirt out to put a path there. And so I'm going to come over here. I'm actually going to place the workbench. I'm thinking like right over in this corner, maybe like so. And this was the cheaty concept I was talking about. So remember I told you, you can only pick up one thing of dirt like this, right? I can't pick up a second. I can only pick up one and then I can put it in here. But I have noticed that I can take 10 and carry 10. And I can go put 10 over here. So it's a it's a slight cheaty workaround. You can also, if I was standing, I don't know how, yeah, I don't think I can reach both, nope. If you have two uh, storages close by, you can always open up both storages and just cross transfer stuff. Like if that chest was sitting right here, I could open up both storages and just transfer it over. And I don't know if that's intended or if it's just, you know, luck of playing around and finding that aspect, but who knows? So we're going to make up some paths right here and lay down some paths. I haven't done this yet. So I don't even know if they have to be on top of dirt or, okay, hold on. Uh, must be placed in a closed room. Okay. Uh, must be placed on a room with volume 25 more. Okay, good. Maybe share with one other craft table. We're good. And containing room must be at least 18 blocks type log. Um, I, I think I meet all that. I thought I did. Let's try doing some dirt road. Um, we'll go ahead and make 34 of them because I know I'm going to need them all. So it looks like I haven't had that message pop up on a table that worked. See, it's not working right now. Why? Why are you not working? Is this two door thing going to cause issues? Does it have to just be one door? Maybe. I, I don't have another... Well, no, the butcher's table... Butcher's table works, right? Status. Yeah, the butcher's table works. Okay, so it's all log. Huh. Very curious. It's it's totally enclosed. I mean, I'm meeting all these standards. Uh, place in a room with volume 25 or more, which I more than get. Um, we share the room with one other crafts table, which it only has the butcher's table. And container room must be built with at least 18 blocks of log. Which, obviously, I've got that covered. So the only thing I can think of is this door issue here. Let me see. I don't... I really wanted to have two doors. Okay. Ha! How do I knock down a door? Huh? <laughs> this is funny. Um, there we go. 
Okay. This is interesting. I can't. Let me try. Let me just take all the surrounding stuff away. Okay, this is kind of annoying. This is very annoying. Let me let me put this wood in this table real quick. And oh, that door's gone now. Okay. So it magically took the door away once I took that out of my hands. Okay, that worked. Okay. Well, let me go get all that wood back now. And we will make it just a one door frame. I don't, I, I didn't think that would be an issue. I would have thought we'd be able to do two doors, but you never know with some games. It might be just be a very specific. Come on. There we go. And like that. And like that. And then we'll put the door down. That's not where I wanted to put that. That's just silly. All right. Nine. Rotate. Now do you work? Now it's good. Okay, cool. So apparently two doors. Not a good idea. Not working. All right. So let's go ahead and get some uh, dirt road started. And I'm glad I'm finding these things. Like, I think that that's something you should be able to do. But, you know, it's not my, my place to say. Where's all the dirt? I just put all the dirt in here storage it's all gone all my dirt is gone did it glitch out or something all the stuff in there is gone too what the oh i took the wood out is all the stuff from gone in here too okay no it's still there interesting okay well i'm gonna get some dirt put together and that'll be a good note that we can't do double doors or some of the items uh some of the tables won't work so I'll go ahead and send that to the devs, but I'm going to go in some dirt and we're going to start working on these roads. So I'll be right back once I get all this dirt. But hey, if all else fails, now you guys know how to make a trash can. Put a table in a room that doesn't work, fill it, and then make it work. Alright, we'll be right back. Okay, so I hadn't noticed at first, the dirt didn't disappear. The dirt happened to be in the crafting area and was just waiting to start crafting. And so it started crafting once I fixed it, which was nice. And now we've got a couple of these dirt paths. And so I want to check out and see how these lay. And, oh, you know what? There, I, oh. So the dirt sits in the shovel. Interesting. All right. So we're going to go see if these lay on the flat ground or if these take up a space. It looks like from the shape of the shadow that they take up a spot. Yes, they do. All right, so we are going to have some dirt paths soon that will stretch all the way down to there, and I'm going to have to make some ramps. So we'll be back after I get this all connected, and that'll probably be the finish of the episode. And we'll start planning for what we want to do next episode. All right, guys, so after a lot of digging and a lot of work, we're almost done with this road that leads up nicely to what will eventually be the store here. And I'm going to go finish that road, and that's how we're going to finish up to the day. But I just want to kind of show you what I've got going on. So I've got two ideas here, right? Since I want this to kind of be like a restaurant and have a restaurant feel, I'm thinking of possibly doing a seating area in this little cave right here. Maybe bringing it out back to the road a little bit and then uh, do a nice little seating area in there. Or I was thinking about extending up here and having like a dining room up here. I don't know. This might actually just branch off and be another store that's like interconnected. I'm not 100% sure. I like the idea of having little dining area. It's kind of like one of those like, you know, almost like a food truck. Walk up, order your food, come over here, sit down, nice tables, beautiful scenery, and uh, just kind of enjoy the day. 
Now I've had to relocate a lot of dirt and I will continue to kind of try to terraform this a little bit because this is what it looks like on the other side with these ramps just kind of cut up like that. And I definitely don't think that's pretty. That is definitely not pretty enough for me. So I'm gonna make some changes there, obviously. But uh, for the time being, I'm okay with the fact that I now have a road and I don't have to like jump all crazy around trying to get up to where I wanna go. And I should have enough road or path as it's called to finish this up. I am really digging this game and I don't know, you know, I'd love to see what you guys think about it in the comments. Uh, because I love, you know, building and trying to make some pretty stuff. And I like that I'm not being attacked by mobs and stuff. And it's literally just like, let's create a really cool environment. And I really want to get like industrial and, you know, futuristic and, we're well, not futuristic, but contemporary. And I, I think that that is definitely doable on this. And I'm really excited to kind of get there. But for the time being, you know, it's a slow roll. It's going to take time, but that's okay. That is totally okay. And actually, I kind of like the concept of almost having a dirt floor. So there's actually buds up next to it. So I might do that in the meantime, is uh, take out this wood floor and put it in like a dirt floor. We'll see how that goes. But guys, if you enjoy this and you do want to see more, please hit that like button and let me know in the comments. And like I said, in the description, I will have the link to the website where you can download the game if you want to play it along with me, as well as my seed, which is actually really easy to remember. It's one, two, three, four, three, two, one. I made it really simple. So anyways, until next time, guys, y'all know the deal. I'm Slider Havoc and I'm out of here. Peace.